Yeah, Dino Transport Barge. Oh my gosh, this thing is so big. I've never even like tried to drive one yet. Oh, okay. We are we are driving the barge. Hello everybody, Samson here. Welcome back to another episode of Modded Ark Survival Evolved. So good to have you guys with me today. So, I have a pretty interesting thing I want to try and take on today. So we're up here on the volcano because I want to get set up a little base. I want a little base set up, I want to be able to process stuff up here, I want to be able to do that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so, oh, wait, hold on. There we go, okay, the right click, I forget about that on this uh, mountain anklo. So I want to set up a forge and I want to also set up uh, some grinding. So I'm, I got an industrial grinder here with me as well. A chemistry table. Sorry, not industrial grinder. A chemistry table to do this. And I should also have... Oh, hold on. I think uh, our Anki hair has it. Yeah, here we go. I got some foundations and I got the forge. So I should be able to set this up right here without it affecting spawning. I'm pretty darn sure. I don't think we're going to lose any uh, any of our nodes here. And apparently we are obstructed by our Anki. Alright, buddy. We got to name him. You know, didn't we name him already? You know what? I think we need to bring back a name, man. We're calling this guy Iron Tail. Do I already have Iron Tail? Is that my other guy? Hold on, hold on. Uh, hmm. Miner Man? No, 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 no. Steel. Yes, that's a much better name. We will name you Steel, and that will be your name, and you will like it. Okay, so let's put down our other foundation, and let's get our forge set up. Now, I'm thinking I want to put it, like, right on the edge, just to make it easier to access. Ooh, awesome. And I have some gasoline here. Next, we need to set up the chemistry table. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. And so right about... See, here will work great. And then I also need to set up a generator, because it's kind of crazy how the, uh, the chemistry table needs a jenny, but whatever, we'll work with it. Not too big of a deal. And then we just need the cabling to get the sucker set up. Now, where... Okay, I think it's underneath the foundation. Yep, and it worked. And let's give... I don't... Do we need gas in there as well? I think we actually do. So let's take half of that. Turn that on. And... Yep, we have gasoline in here as well. Sweet. Okay, so I brought up all of the chitin that I have. And I want to make a ton of cementing paste. I haven't mentioned the project yet, but what I want to do, guys, is I want to build a massive metal battleship. You guys know those giant barges that I used uh, in that, I think it was two episodes ago, three episodes ago, when we built the bridge to the island? It was right at the end of one of uh, our episodes. I can't remember the title of the episode. But we, uh, we put it up, we bridged our island to the main section, which is pretty awesome, and uh, I want to use one of those and build a massive battleship. So we're going to need a ton of metal. So I'm just going to get this sucker going. And we should be able to actually do all the metal crafting right on Moonwing. Uh, if we enable all of our Ingrams here. Yeah, right there. We got all the metal structures. We can stick all the cementing paste on them. And we can start crafting some of this stuff. And I believe... Oh, we still have like 4,000 metal on him. Okay, let's get this stuff unloaded. So I'm going to do a little bit of work here, guys. Um... Before I cut, uh, I was looking around for our mountain wolf because I thought we would need some more chitin so we could pump out a bunch more cementing paste because we're going to get a ton of stone, figured we would use it instead of throwing it all out, but I cannot find our wolf, my wolf anywhere. If you guys have any idea, uh, like from watching previous videos, where the heck I left our mountain wolf, uh, put it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys because I cannot find him anywhere. I don't know if he died. I checked and I hadn't set up a tribe yet, so I can't even check the tribe log to see if he's dead. And, like, he's just gone. Just straight up gone, guys. It's crazy. So I'm going to do some farming up here, and I'll meet you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's do this thing. So I got a raft here, and, or a barge. 
Yeah, Dino Transport Barge. Oh my gosh, this thing is so big. I've never even like tried to drive one yet. Oh, okay. We are we are driving the barge. Oh my gosh, it maneuvers. Not bad for something so massive. Oh, and it has reverse. Yeah, pretty darn nice. Okay, so I got this thing all set up now. I built some dino barge gateways. Oh, dude, these are... Okay, so they, they don't snap. I was hoping that they snapped or something like that. I want to try and put them right on the edge. So, let's see if we can line this up and figure out what straight looks like. Okay, we are way off. Uh, like that? That's a little better. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, if we can get this thing worked out here. So, if I go forward, so right there, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's leaning, it's, oh, it's over the edge a little tiny hair. I'm trying to see on the edge here. Okay, it's Oh, that's pretty darn straight, guys. I think we got to go for it. Now, are we um, center? Maybe a little more this way. And, oh, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is cool looking. Guys, that's really neat looking. Okay, hold on. Let's grab some of these. And, boom. Wow, that is quite the gate. So, I think it's just made to match. I think it's about the same size as a, as a behemoth gate. Oh, a little bit of a lockup. I guess when you're opening a massive door, that can happen. Pretty cool looking. So, that's good. I want to go try and put this on the other side, too. So, let's run down here. Man, this thing is going to be so massive. I hope it doesn't, like, it's not going to be like a massive lag machine. I have no idea, guys. Okay, so we place the other one. Let's see. Oh, weird. Oh, is this... Okay, no, it's not snapping. So, we are quite a ways over on that side, and... Okay, we're a little crooked. We're a little crooked. Let's go back this way. And... Let's go back a little bit. And... Oh, oh, I think we're... A little off. Okay, let me see if I can get this place straight... I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, I got the other gate all placed, and I think we're ready to try and put some other stuff on this thing. So, my thought is, I want to try and make this look somewhat Battleship-esque, and you know what? To do that, we might have to remove these gateways. I'm just kind of realizing they probably don't really fit the motif. I mean, what <laughs> motif? Eh, that's such a big word. Okay, so let's try and place some of these metal fence foundations and see what we end up looking have in here um i guess i should put it right at the end i mean this is more like aircraft carrier kind of stuff than uh than like war battleship kind of stuff but i want to try and make it war battleshipy okay and we are pretty good right there let's try that okay so if i stick a wall it snaps pretty good now, do these have, like, a front and a back? No, they're pretty much identical on both sides. Oh, my gosh, that's so crazy how far you fly over. Yeah, if I'm all the way at that end and I, like, push E on the floor, I fly all the way over here. It's crazy. Okay, so now I should be able to pretty easily just snap right onto this, right? Yeah, it's a thing. Oh, sweet. So we're going to have to get some, like, windows and stuff. I want to put some, uh, some cannons on this, but also... I'm thinking, like, some of the big turrets are going to look way better. Because cannon's kind of primitive, and we're building out of metal here. So, you know what? I think we're going to have to build it out, like, build some massive, like, auto turrets and rocket turrets and some really cool stuff. I'm going to have to do a ton of polymer farming. Like, I'm probably going to need a few thousand polymer. Uh, or we could just do a bunch of obsidian farming. That might be the better option, because we have so much, like, cementing and pa paste and stuff. Still have not found my other wolf, guys. Still haven't even come close to finding him. So, if you get, like, again, if you guys have any idea where he is, let me know. Alright. I'm going to place some more of these foundations. See what I can end up with here. And I'll bring you back when we get a little more of this done. Okay, guys. So, we're back. Just want to give you a bit of an update on the, uh, the raft here. So, it doesn't look like a lot. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the frames? That was weird. 
Uh, I'll get on Moonwing here and give you guys a bit of a better view of it. So I actually built up walls on both sides of this guy with fence foundations and found out, hey, guess what? You can't put any ceilings if you do it that way. So I've rebuilt it. Oh, and also, you can't land a Quetzal on these things, which is unfortunate. Like, I don't I don't get that. I don't know why. But yeah, won't let us land Moonwing on this guy at all. So it's a good thing we're not using it as a mobile base because, yeah, poor old Moonwing and all our other Quetzals. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, would not be able to come on here. Isn't that crazy? Look how far we get, like, whipped over here. So, I have it three high right now, and I have what? Sorry, but that one foundation. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I don't know how far it's going to allow us to build out. Okay, right there. Let's just do three. But what if I put another foundation? So now we can do it. Now we can't. Huh. I'm wondering if we space, like, foundations out. I don't know if we want to do the whole floor because I honestly don't know what the build limit on this thing is. And I want to make sure we get a lot of really cool stuff on here before we hit the build limit. Like, that's kind of a priority. Uh, so, one thing I've been working on, guys, is I've been working on building a couple turrets. And, man, I forgot how expensive those suckers are. So, it's actually been, like, uh, a couple hours uh, since the last little segment there, just gathering materials, doing that kind of thing. I actually need to make a run out to the Arctic biome and collect a ton of, of uh, organic polymer. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get like a thousand organic polymer or something like that so I can build a couple of these turrets. I want to build a whole bunch of rockets, that kind of thing. Let's see. Let's grab Moonwing. Let's go back into the base here. And... Uh, we'll take a look at a couple of things that I'm wanting to work on. So I've been building a lot of like regular polymer and it's been going pretty good, but yeah, we're a little bit lacking. Oh yes. And between segments, guys, I tamed up a wolf because like I said, I cannot find, I cannot find our wolf. I can't find our, uh, our mountain wolf that we had. He's nowhere to be found. He's gone. Oh, that's loud. So I'm building a whole bunch of polymer. Uh, I want to here, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, uh, options sound effects there we go so if we take a look in here I'm building a whole bunch of polymer I have one minigun turret I believe made yeah we do sweet we're gonna need a ton of ammunition for it this kind of ammo right there and I'm also gonna build a rocket turret now I might build like more than one of these just for looks but for now I'm just gonna build like one of each and kind of figure out how we want it and I'm thinking on the other side guys I want to build like a stupid amount of these things so we're gonna need electronics as well we're gonna have to grab a whole bunch of of uh, silica pearls while we're in the arctic area so it may be one of those things that won't be complete this episode but we'll at least get started and so for rockets we're gonna need lots of crystal cementing paste polymer metal and gunpowder shouldn't be too bad i believe i've made up a whole bunch of gunpowder over here uh we have like 2400 Oh, and I did respec, guys. I had to to learn all the Ingrams. Oh, a bit of a freeze. Uh, to learn all the Ingrams, I had to do a mind wipe. So, yeah. Look at my stats. I have 1,700 weight. I respec very differently. I will craft up a bunch of that. I, uh, I My melee damage is only 200% now. So, I brought it down a little bit because we actually have dinos. We're able to do some wrecking of the face and doing that kind of thing. So, doing a lot better there. And why is our gamma so high? Oh, you know what it is? Uh, I went into the options and I changed stuff, so I gotta take out bloom quality. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm gonna keep building this, and you know what? Well, with all I have you guys with me here, let's place our first turret because I think we're I think we got the spot that I want to put it in. So let's grab that first turret and uh, see what it looks like on the bait on the uh, the ship. I don't think you can pick it up, but that would be a really cool feature if you could. I know that they've added um, the picking up ability to a couple things, uh, and I don't know if it's for the big turrets, but let's take a look here. Okay, so we will land over here because, unfortunately, like I said, Moonwing can't join us on the raft. And, oh, okay, we're good. So I have a ladder right here to get up. I'm probably going to put a couple of these throughout the, uh, the roof here, but, man, look at the size of this thing. It's all made of metal, too. It's crazy. So I'm going to place the first gun. You know, let's bring up the hot bar here. I want to place the first one like, I don't know, somewhere around here. Let's get into K mode. And let's see what we look like. I'm thinking it should go like 
I don't know, like halfway up or a third of the way, quarter of the way up, something like that. And I need to make sure it's, it's straight. You know what, guys? That's not too bad. Huh. That's pretty darn good right there. All right. We got our first one placed. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's get on this thing and see what it's like. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. And if we dismount while it's facing out. Oh, we land right back on here. Oh, that is nice. Now, how many rounds will this thing hold? 24 stacks of rounds. And we are going to have to fill this. Did it say ballista turret? Oh, my gosh, guys. Look. Right there. It says ballista turret on the inside of this thing. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a glitch. Just a little bit. But that's all right. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to do a bunch more crafting. And I'll meet you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we are back, and I got some more stuff crafted up. So I'm working on more uh, more metal stuff. I went up to the uh, to the Arctic area, and one of the weird things is, I guess the the biome update that they did messed with some of the spawn uh, mechanics because I'm not getting any penguins on those islands out there. We are short on the penguin front. Um, yeah, really weird. So I I ended up getting like a small. Uh, amount of organic parliament like a couple like two or three hundred I think it was um, yeah but not much at all I'm gonna have to figure out something else for this I'm making up a bunch more regular polymer as well uh, but we're gonna have to figure out like a cementing paste situation I might try and get another uh, one of those frogs the um, mountain frogs that might be a good option uh, now let's see did I grab it I did <laughs> check it out guys yeah yeah rock it turret heck yeah okay so let's get up here I even have some rockets for it um, I want to put it kind of like on the opposite end of where we had the other turret okay let's hit K mode and I want to make sure that we have it I guess it doesn't matter what way it's facing as long as it's like centered and it's like a third of the way down just like the other or a quarter of the way down just like the other one Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. Okay. Right about right about there. Yeah, that looks good. Now we can aim it out. Aim it out towards the water. Jump off. Oh, this thing looks sweet. Okay, let's add in these rockets. Oh my gosh, this will hold 24 as well. 24 stacks of 50 rockets. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, we are going to need so much stuff to try and fill that thing with rockets. I want to, like, go out and uh, find some stuff. Now, one thing I'm just realizing, am I, like, too close to the uh, to the edge of this? I don't think so. I think I can fire at this without blowing, up, blowing myself up. But if something comes up real close, it might be a little bit of an issue, but not a huge issue. It should be okay. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Yeah. This is one of those episodes, though, guys, where, like, so much preparation. It's been a lot a lot a lot of work um, so I thought I'd just bring you guys with me as we do a little bit more building on on the base here so we got more roofs I got a little bit more ceilings uh, we have more foundations yeah having this weight limit man uh, hold on yeah having 1700 weight pretty ridiculous but really amazing okay so let's see yeah I'm only like net level oh, I'm level 100 because they added a couple more to the level cap and vanilla and I don't know if that's affecting us if we were always just been a hundred or what but uh, yeah pretty sweet so let's see here they also added two more levels to the uh, dinosaur level cap which is pretty cool so one of the things that's happened guys is oh, oh well, that's crazy <laughs> oh okay so one of the things that's happened is we have a little bit of a gap I wanted to run the foundations all the way over and it looks good and it worked but the problem comes that uh, we're gonna be a little short on this side yeah we're gonna be a little short on this side but it may it may still look okay it may still look okay I'm gonna run these foundations the the length of the ship oh there goes hmm well there goes two of them and misplacing like a professional all right there we go hopefully I have enough to do this this is like the most building I've done in a long time. First building out of metal, too. Like, building out of metal is pretty ridiculously expensive. It's really the cementing paste that's the issue. Uh, like, I need, like, 
super I need like hire a stooge to come in here and like farm cementing paste for me. Not that I could do that, but you know what I mean. And not a stooge necessarily, you know? Okay, so we got this going. Yep, and we're a little shy of the gate here. We got like this little tiny gap, but I mean, hey, it's our it's arc building, right? We're not gonna be able to build anything perfect. It just ain't even a thing in arc. Okay, so let's swap out these walls. Is there any difference between these? No? Okay, good. And let's see what we can do as far as this goes. I think we're uh, we're 24 foundations wide, guys. This is crazy. So many walls. So I'm like 24, 75, almost 75 walls oh, on each side. That's, that's so many walls. And then a bunch of ceilings and everything too. Yeah, this is gonna be a big build, and I don't like I said I don't even know what the le the uh, building cap on this raft is. Hopefully it's like a couple hundred pieces because it's just so massive. You'd think they would. Okay, a little bit of a leg there. Can I craft another wall? I can't. Yeah, it seems like you get less uh, less return for these guys than you do with other stuff. Like you don't get 50% of your materials back. Yeah, or you know what it also is. You can't craft these in your inventory. They have to be crafted in a smithy. That's what's going on. Okay, so if I go to craft... Yeah, I can craft a few more walls. Let's craft up a few more walls here. It is so nice being able to craft from on your on your Quetzal, man. Like, that's one of the things that I'm going to miss when I switch off of, like, this mod. When we don't have the champion Quetz anymore. Oh, man. Having, like, a mobile Quetzal smithy is amazing. Alright, so we got this going. I want to try and drive this guy around, to be honest. All right, let's close this gate. Can we close the gate? We can. Awesome. And let's let's drive this sucker. I don't even know how the heck you're supposed to drive it. Okay, if I like scroll out as big as I possibly can while mount like while driving on this thing, how far out can we get? Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I have no idea where we're going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, not the easiest battleship to drive, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're driving like a stinking aircraft carrier. Well, let's see if we can get in close enough to fire some rockets off at something, because that would be sweet. And I get another thing is, I want to turn our sound effects back up. Apply, save, and uh, light shafts, bloom quality. Okay. Can we get in close enough to fire some rockets at something? I think we're we're getting close to angled in far enough to like hit the shore. Uh, okay. Are we we're approaching somewhat approaching land? Maybe I need to open like maybe if I open all these doors that would help. Okay, let's try this. Hold on. Let's open these doors and let's open these doors and see if they uh. If they work, we may still be ripping these doors down, guys, like I said, because they don't really fit the uh, the battleship motif I'm going for here. <laughs> I don't even have to run back all the way. Yeah, that actually helps a lot. And, okay. Let's go in. So I can kind of, like, aim and see the shore here. Oh, my gosh, that's so crazy. Oh, I, one thing I do not want to do is get stuck. Oh, that would be bad. So one nice thing is that we built out of metal so thankfully nothing should be able to damage this okay oh my gosh can you imagine building on this for like your main base that would be so crazy okay we are on the rocket turret how far is this gonna fly uh can we hit this dodo oh it flies really high oh <laughs> awesome oh my gosh dude that was so sweet the thing like flew like crazy I wanted like turn this into a giant battle thing okay um, let's get a little further in and see what happens here oh my gosh this is crazy all right we're closer I should be able to Oh, the turtles behind a rock that's part of the problem Okay, well, there's our dead dodo friend. Is there anything else going on over here? Not really. Hmm. Maybe we could, like, draw something in? I don't even know. Can I, like, peeve off this turtle with a shotgun? Oh, it totally worked. Yep. Sup, turtle? How's it going? 
Um, oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. Can we hit it again? Um, hmm. Apparently this turtle is rocket proof. Oh my gosh, what level are you? Are you kidding me? I was thinking of like taking on something big with this, but not if it's like gonna take this many like stuffs to kill th something. Oh my gosh, it was a level 510 turtle. That was such an expensive kill. Oh my gosh, that was like 10 rockets. Dude, that was crazy. Well, guys, I think this is going to be everything for this episode. I just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our community here. And as always, guys, we'll talk to you later.